Hey guys, TechieGHD here again with another video, and today I have episode 2 of What's on My iPhone 5S. Uh, so to start off, before we get into the actual video, uh, one question that I would like to answer is yes, I have been using my $30 plus dollar, uh, Apple leather case, the product red case, um, but temporarily just because I wanted to try, I've, I've been a huge fan of black and red for a long time, but I also thought that black and green was a cool combination, uh, so I have also been using this case which is the Masubo Hypergrip case. Uh, I did make a review on this on my channel a little while ago, so if you guys would like to check that out, do remember to go over to my channel. There's a little search box. You can just type in M-U-S-U-B-O, and you will probably be able to find it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take off the case simply because it's a little easier to hold the phone uh, and talk to you without the case on. Um, especially because I'm actually kind of far away since I'm using a 50 millimeter lens, I have to hold my arm out, so it's a little weird. Uh, either way, so uh, let's get started. Uh, again, if you guys don't know, I'm using a Space Gray 16 gigabyte factory unlocked iPhone 5S. Uh, you can see it's the 5S, it has Touch ID, uh, and here we go. So I'm currently rocking I, what I believe is the latest version of iOS. I haven't got any sort of software updates uh, yet, so let's go over to about uh, and it is running iOS 7.1.1 down here you guys can see in the version area uh, now actually coming over to the applications that I've been using uh, they haven't changed very much but I think the layouts changed a little bit more uh, than the animation or rather the applications themselves um, so the applications I'm using of course on the first page are most of the Apple applications uh, along with exceptions such as Tweetbot 3 which is my main Twitter client of choice Instagram uh, WhatsApp, Box Sync, which is essentially just kind of like Dropbox, but they offer more free storage, so I tend to use this more often. And also it works better on the Mac, so I like it. Uh, and then I also have a, uh, of course on my dock, I do have just the regular stock applications. I've never really moved them around because I think that these are perfect for uh, being in the dock. Uh, then I also do have a folder here called Photography, in which I have some of my photography applications. These include Lightly and uh, Afterlight, which I've made reviews on, along with ViscalCam, ProCam, and Rookie, which I think I've mentioned a couple of these in my videos, besides for ProCam, which one of you guys actually recommended I try out, and I will probably have a review of this application up soon. Now, on the second page, I have a few other applications. I have the Mailbox application, which I use for my college email address. Uh, I also do have Flickr and Facebook Messenger uh, to chat with my friends. Skype, Tumblr, and uh, Breeze, which is a really nice um, tracking step tracking application for people with an iPhone 5S. It makes use of the M7 processor, co-processor, um, to actually uh, track your steps properly and accurately. Then we also do have uh, Spark, uh, which is actually kind of like uh, a, a video editing application, but it also helps you like add music and stuff to your videos. Uh, then I have Blur, which I've used to make this wallpaper, and I used to make most of my wallpapers. Um, just give me a second, guys. All right, uh, after that, I also do have Clear, which is a list application. So yeah, and this is actually off the list. Um, and then I have an, a, a folder here called Utilities in which I have all my utilitarian applications, and I do have quite a few. I have Voice Memos, Google Drive, Diptych, which is actually, I'm going to move this into the photography section because it's actually a collage creating application. Um, then I also do have Photo Vault, Square Ready and Square Ready Video, Level Money, uh, Ookla Speed Test, Mediafire, Newsstand, Shazam, and Soundhound, which are essentially the same thing, uh, Viber. Apple Maps, Dropbox, Weather, Compass, uh, Reminders, Google Maps, Stocks, Passbook, uh, PVR, which is my like local movie cinema of choice, and uh, the iTunes Store. After that, I have another folder here called Games, which are all the games that I mostly play, which are Asphalt 8, Jet Car Stunts uh, 2, Tiny Wings, Flappy Bird, Cut the Rope, uh, Subway Surfers, Super Hexagon, Strand, Jetpack Joyride, Cut the Rope uh, 2, Game Center, Where's My Wander 2, and uh, Dextrous. I will probably have a video on Dextrous soon. This is a very addictive game. Uh, then I also do have SoundCloud, Snapchat, and uh, of course Diptych. I have to move it back into this photography folder, which I seem to have gotten rid of. This is the one thing I don't like about iOS, the way that they like move around applications. This is extremely annoying. 
But either way, guys, uh, that is what I'm currently rocking on my iPhone right now. Uh, I have added a few applications from my last video, but and of course the layout has changed a lot. I only have two pages now, uh, besides for the usual three, which I usually have. Um, and that essentially does it for this video, guys. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave the video a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of the video. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much, much more, please do remember to subscribe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.